Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of I'm on Observation Duty 2, colon, Timothy's Revenge. I don't know who Timothy is, but I did play the first I'm on Observation Duty last week. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. If you don't know anything about this game, basically you're playing as a surveillance person, and you're trying to catch anomalies on the security cameras. Uh, some of them are like outwardly obviously malicious, and some other ones are just kind of silly. Think SCP if you're uh, familiar with that universe. Let's go ahead and start a new game already, by the way. Uh, the menu is very red, so I know I'm in for a scary time. It's the color of horror. Let's start with the cursed house. I just saw a hint that said check out I'm on Observation Duty 3 as well, so we'll have to look at that. Uh, wow. Um... What I was about to say is that one thing that <laughs> interested me about the first I'm on Observation Duty game was that uh, it had very bizarre shifts in tone. Like sometimes it would be legitimately pretty scary. And then other times it would be really silly and weird. So I'm excited to see what this one's about. First thing I'm noticing, by the way, is that this one's in full color, unlike uh, the last game. The last game was in black and white. There are also uh, a lot of rooms. We have the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, toilet, yard, garage, study, dining room, hallway. So that's... Eight? Nine? Nine rooms? That's crazy. That's a lot. And then we've also got outside, which is which is yard, so. Let's see. We have a corpse. That's a new one that we didn't see in the last one. Um, other than that, object shrinkage. Okay. No shadow anomalies this time. I actually really like the visuals in this one. I like the aesthetic. It feels more creepy. What does this activate second cam? Okay, you can't see this, but... You can actually, there's a button that says activate second cam. So you can keep track of two different places at once if you want to, because there are so many. My God, all right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to memorize where things are so that when they move or if there's something different then I can spot it easier. We're not gonna beat this uh, the first time. Is there an extra object here? I feel like that deodorant wasn't there. No, okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wrong. I'm just incorrect. Okay, can we talk about what a fancy house this is, by the way? Look at this, you got a grill out here and some outdoor seating, pergola. This is some HD TV stuff right here. What is all this? I like how they have the exact fruit plate in two different areas. It's got two apples, two oranges, and a banana. Look, it's right there, but then it's also right here. It's the exact same plate. <laughs> two different <laughs> two different rooms. They really must have liked it. This is, that's, okay, hang on one second. This painting right here, uh, that's wrong. That's incorrect, that was not like that earlier. So there's a painting anomaly here. I'm like, I'm fairly sure. Let's find out if I was right. Oh, dude, I got it. Whoa, what was that? I told you, I told you, that was weird. What a weird little painting anomaly. Okay. So there's definitely other anomalies happening right now. I just don't know what they are. I'm surprised I caught that one on my first pass. So things we're looking for are things like extra objects, uh, objects that have moved, objects that have disappeared. Those are always the toughest ones to spot. We're one hour in. I'm definitely missing some anomalies right here. I just don't, I'm not familiar enough with what the rooms look like to be able to tell you that something's missing or something's different. Um, they really like these triangle shelves. They have them in their bathroom and in the living room. It's like, how about you 
I want you to get a little more creative. I mean, look. Is there an extra page on the desk? What is this? This is a study. Uh-oh. This is bad. Too many anomalies are active. Find them. Who is... <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, no extra object? Are you serious? I just don't know. I don't know. So there's like at least three anomalies, I would say, that I'm just not seeing. I don't know. All the chairs are here. All the plates are here. <sighs> yeah. Wow, I lose. <laughs> Oker, it's over. Too many anomalies. You failed. <laughs> Who are you? Are you the- are you the developer? Failed, you fixed one out of five anomalies, so there are actually four. I just- where were they? No idea. Okay, I am... Okay, is this- this shoe, there's no way that that shoe has been there. Why would that shoe be on top of that? File cabinet, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, extra object. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I'm calling BS on that shoe. That shoe should not be there. Has it been there the whole time and I just haven't noticed? No way. Okay. You know what's weird? Okay, I was right about the shoe. Thank God. I find it interesting that the fixing anomaly um, animation is a match being lit. Anyone else find that kind of weird? Okay, well, I guess that's wrong then. Is this luggage? Uh, has that luggage always been there? Oh, really? That luggage is always there. This is wrong. This is wrong. Painting anomaly in the bedroom. Painting anomaly. Goodbye. Goodbye. I know that that's right. I don't even have to check. I know that it's right. I feel like my eyes just glaze over every time I look in this garage. No! Okay, go away. No way. What am I missing? What am I missing? Probably a lot. I'm still learning exactly where everything is. Slowly getting visually attuned. Oh! That ketchup bottle is really big. Object growth. Yeah, that ketchup bottle is too big. It was not like that earlier. I'm sticking around to see this one through. That's 100% an anomaly right there. Anomalous ketchup bottle. Oh, okay, I got one. Okay, I'll take that. As for what else is wrong, no idea. <laughs> Wait, has this always been there? I feel like half of my reports are like, there's an extra object in here. And then they come back and they're like, there was no extra object. You just... You just weren't paying attention at all to your surroundings. Ugh. So like, do they light the anomalies on fire? That's weird. Okay, this one literally is an extra object though. Look at that. That's like brains on a plate. Is it- could it be something else though? Let's find out. My incessant extra object reports finally paid off. Is that window open? No. Okay, we're- we're, uh, we're staying in it. We're staying in it. Somehow. No. Damn. Four out of eight anomalies. Okay, well, I did better that time. Where were all the other anomalies? Ah, big catch-up again. Big catch-up. Object growth. Get him out of here. You try to do that on me in back-to-back -back sessions? I don't think so. Doesn't work on me. Farewell. That's right, get rid of it. Do they set it on fire? I don't understand why it shows a match being lit. Ah, oh, okay. I was really concentrating. I haven't seen anything other than the giant ketchup bottle. Wait, that's... Okay, mm, that's bigger too. Yeah, it's object growth again. This is, this chair is bigger than it was. I like to stick around. 
Wait, what? Okay, what was that sound, first of all? I want, okay, yeah, I, was, I want to stick around and see that anomaly get cleansed, if you will. What fell down? Oh, ceiling fan. Um, so that's, okay. I, that's cool that I could hear that. That's going to be object movement for me, I guess. Paintings are good. <laughs> I just keep look. I keep waiting for something to happen with this. Nothing's happening. Um, apparently there are multiple anomalies though. I know I just fixed two, but I'm not noticing anything. Ah, uh, dude, it opened right in front of me. I know I was covering it up. Sorry. I gotta put- I gotta put the camera somewhere, okay? I gotta put my face somewhere on the screen. There's no good place to put it. Should I cover up the time? Fine, I'll just cover up the time. It opened right in front of me. How do you explain that? Farewell. Goodbye. Anyway, fine. I guess I'll just hang out up here then. I'll tell you what time it is. Okay, you don't need to see what time it is. I'll just tell you. I'll tell you. Um... What? Okay, I did not see that. How long has that been there? Ghost? How long has that been there? There's a face right there. There's a face. Look, it's going like... What are you doing in my wall? Get out! Goodbye! What the hell? How long has that been there, though? Okay, here we go. We've seen this before. It's the uh, painting anomaly again. Is this one the the weird? Uh, she's like weirdly creepy. Yellow raincoat girl, April O'Neil over there. I don't think I've ever found anything in here. Ever. There's never uh, there's never been anything in the living room. At least not that I've seen. Maybe I've completely missed them. I mean, I missed the face here for God knows how long. This chair is smaller. The ch the chair is definitely smaller. Object shrinkage. Yeah. I think so. Get it out. Get it out of here. Okay, so I was right. Wow. Feeling so vindicated right now. A lot of object growth and object shrinkage. Not my favorite types. Not my favorite types of anomalies. I really like the intruders and like the ghosts and stuff. Um, and we have had a distinct lack of those. This chair's bigger. Again, what's with the object growth? It's like happening constantly. It's like constant. The objects are getting bigger and and shrinking. Wait, was there anything? It scared me. Was there anything here? I'm like, I'm looking at the luggage, looking at the shoes. I'm looking at this this uh goblet. The the flowers, the painting. The painting's the only thing I've ever seen change, in there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Speaking of goblet, gone here. It left. It, it sprouted legs and it left. That's right. That's right. I got it. So far, not very interesting anomalies. I'm hoping that we get some weird ones soon. Like the ceiling fan crashing to the floor is probably the most interesting one that we've had. Other than that, it's been very... Uneventful. Chess pieces are floating. Okay, I. <laughs> oh, the last one that we did was in uh, the living room. Okay, yeah, object movement. I'm guessing, or is this ghost? Because they're like, what was that? Did you hear that? Okay, so the, the thing fell over. Yeah, object movement, right? This fell over. What knocked it over? Who's here with me? Okay, thanks. Man, you guys get rid of those so fast. How do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> Sorry, what? What 
What's going on? Wait, did the other camera go down? Okay, first of all, there's a painting anomaly here. So let's get rid of that first. But my my activate second cam button went away. Is that something? Because camera malfunction is something. I'm not finding anything. The shoes are gone. That's object disappearance. Get him out of here. Or bring him back, actually. Bring him back. They already went out of here. We want them to come back. That's the anomaly, is that they're, they were gotten out of here. Wait, this shrunk. Okay. How long has it been like that? Can we stop with the object shrinkage? It's really pouring. Let's get some excitement in here. Come on. Come on, I'm on observation duty too. You're the sequel. You're supposed to be bigger and better. So far, it's almost 4 a.m. and uh, nothing exciting, truly exciting, has happened. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Object disappearance. Goodbye. Farewell. No, I'm sorry. I, I did it again. Come back. I just meant farewell to the anomaly. You know what I meant. Whatever. I don't have to explain myself to you. Now, if this is anything like the first game, then that means that we're not going to see the same anomalies twice. So we should have all new anomalies, which means I don't have to keep checking things that have already had an anomaly happen to them. Like, uh, for example, I don't have to check this chair anymore because it's already done the growth thing. Um, okay, well, that's something, isn't it? So this is, okay, there's some excitement. W would you classify this as an intruder? Because I sure would. You're intruding on my home. Please leave. No intruder. Are you sure? Gotta be got a corpse. Corpse then. It's a corpse. Right, because it's dead. That makes sense. But before they died, they were intruding on my home. Former intruder. Is what I would say. You know what? I'm so confident in this. I'm gonna just yeah. I didn't even need to see it. Let's let's see it fixed though. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Uh <laughs> there's an extra object in here. It's this. It's this animal mask. Get it out. That's right, we fixed that anomaly. Here's the part of the uh the run where I start getting kind of cocky. Okay. All right, you think I wouldn't notice? I've been staring at that painting all video long. Get rid of it, it's this guy. It's Jeffrey Bezos over there, staring off in the distance. Get him out. Get Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos out of my house. Here's a part where somebody in the comments says, oh my God, I didn't know that he watched Bo Burnham's Inside too." Yes, I did watch the incredibly popular mainstream thing too. Shouldn't come as a surprise. Uh, everyone on the planet has seen that. So yes, I get, I get your little jokes. I get your little references. That just straight up left. <laughs> that just, that's just gone. Okay, bring it back, please. This place really looks like a white woman's Instagram. Am I right? Uh, let's see, what else can I say? Uh, Daddy made some more content for you. Open wide. Did I say that? I feel like I said that slightly off. Okay, good, it's back. Whew. I don't know why I care. I don't care. I don't know why. <laughs> why would I care? Oh, the microwave moved. What a strange thing to do. The microwave just moved. You can't you can't slip that stuff past me, man. I'm on it now. This is my third time seeing all this stuff. It sets in after a while. You anomalies think you can outsmart me? You better start doing things a bit more subtle. Give me a new house. Oh, wow. Hello. What are you doing here? Uh, that's a ghost, right? This is a ghost, right? There, she blinks. Get him out of here. That's right. Goodbye. I did it. 
Uh, <laughs> what is it? Extra object, maybe? <laughs> yes, uh, there's, there appears to be an extra floating arm in my bedroom. Please remove it, mysterious anomaly removal people. Please get it out of my bedroom. It appears to be attempting to shake hands with something that isn't there. Quite disturbing. Please remove it by burning it with a match, apparently. Oh! You're the same guy! You're the same guy. Extra object. <laughs> we'll do corpse. I mean, it is technically an extra object. Um, okay, bye. Painting anomaly. Okay. Let's get that. We're actually really close to being this one. Just gotta get to six o'clock. Okay, this is gone. Let's see, this is uh dining room object disappearance. The the plate of fruit is gone. I think I think we're good. I think we're gonna make it through this. Get that plate of fruit back on there. I put it there for a reason. I honestly have no idea. If there's an anomaly, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been really vigilant about catching everything, and I just don't see anything. Oh, those are floating. Uh, so we'll do toilet, um, object movement. These are floating right here. The, uh, the shampoo. I got it, and uh, we're about to hit six o'clock, so. I got 26 out of 26. 100% baby, that's an A plus. But did Timothy get his revenge? Sorry, who's Timothy? Am I supposed to know who that is? Well, my left ear is really enjoying this right now. Um, who's Timothy? Is there some I'm on observation duty lore that I'm unaware of? You know, I gotta say, um, not not a very scary set there. I, I might have just been RNG. Let's check uh, the house of the past now. This is a different one. Oh. Oh, it's like if Puppet Combo made I'm on observation duty. Oh wow, there's gonna be a lot of painting anomalies. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot. So we got bedroom, living room, kitchen, toilet, outside storage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm about to sound like really I'm not sound like a snob, but um, I kind of want to play this one. <laughs> I kind of want to check out the other house again and like see if there's um, see if there's some scary ones that we missed. Let's check out the cursed house again. Sorry, you know what? If you want to check out the house of the past, feel free, feel free to check it out on your own time. No one's stopping you. What did I just hear? I heard somebody go, hmm? Off camera just now. Oh, you're just gonna act like you didn't do that? Or worse, you're gonna be like, hmm? And then you're just not gonna do anything? Oh, you're floating the chest pieces, okay. Right, we caught them like right away. I guess they just keep going up otherwise. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, Play another round, and anything that's different, I'll show, but uh, I'm not gonna be like, oh, the chair grew again, or anything like that. It's just gonna be new stuff. The garage door's open. I heard it too. Yeah, that's object movement, right? Yeah, garage door's open, no. Close it. Close it. Oh, sorry. Door opening, I guess is what it is. It's door door opening. Because it's a door. <sighs> Wait, I saw it close just now. That's weird. You never see them get fixed? In real time like that. That's, that's kind of interesting. Okay. 
there is something sexual happening here that I was not expecting. Wow. We'll just leave them to it, I guess. No anomaly? Oh, I had it on the kitchen. I was so taken aback. Yeah, they're in the living room. Okay. Okay, they stopped doing what they were doing, and they both looked at me. They both looked straight at me. It's like The Shining. It was like The Shining. You know that one scene in The Shining? You know what I'm talking about? Um, it was like that. Uh, they both stopped what they were doing, and they both turned and looked at me. So, that was great. So that's what I'm talking about. As weird as that was. As weird as that was. Like, give me more of that. Give me, give me less of this, like, oh, there's a shoe on top of the file cabinet. Oh. I don't know why, but, like... Going to like a, I don't know why, but like switching the camera and seeing just a wide open doorway is possibly the creepiest thing in this game. I, I think it's because the indication is like someone opened that door and you don't see them on the camera. So someone's just in your house and they could be anywhere. I think that's kind of the the implication there that kind of gets me. It's It's that home invasion aspect of it. It's not like, oh, a ghost just opened the door. Like, that's not what I think when I see that. I think, like, someone is in my house and they opened that door. Because I left it closed, for sure. And that's pretty, that's pretty crazy to think about. So, I like that part of it. Ah! <laughs> What's in there? That's some object movement, if I've ever seen one. Oh, that's weird. The shadow's still there. Yeah, the uh, the vase of flowers disappeared, but the shadow is still there. That's that's a nice touch, actually. I kind of like that. Uh, what? Did anyone else... Okay, I've gotta slow down. What happened? Oh! Outside? Intruder! Intruder! Goodbye! What are you doing? First of all, who has a window like that in their bathroom, and why would you have the blinds up? Okay, that thing moved? Like, it literally moved from one camera to the next. <laughs> that was good, okay. That was good. More like that. Listen, if there's an I'm on observation duty four, more like that, and, and, and less of like, oh, uh, the ketchup bottle is slightly bigger. Which, okay, I gotta, I gotta concentrate now. Like, yeah, yeah, less, less of like a big ketchup bottle and more of like strange vibrating naked man outside. Um, please get rid of this intruder. Please get rid of this intruder. Please fix this anomaly. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to to play a second round of this. Um, <laughs> I was I was like, oh, surely the more interesting ones will be available now, and I was right. I was right. Was something gonna happen when it zoomed all the way in if I didn't catch it right away? I guess I'll, I'll never know. I should've just let it go, see what happened. Oh, this is this is open, that's new. I got my second cam back, by the way. I wonder why I lost it on the last run. Like, I wonder why it just suddenly deactivated. That was weird, right? 
I didn't get it back for the rest of the time. And uh, I still have it now. Is that like camera malfunction? Because I never reported that. Maybe I should have. Is this box smaller? Okay. I think this box is smaller, the one that says fragile on it, because I can't read it now. And I think I could earlier. Let's watch it. Let's watch it grow in size. It was bigger than the one underneath it, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, wow, okay. I wonder how long it was like that. I think I may have passed by it a few times. Too many anomalies are active. How is that possible? I've been extremely vigilant. Oh my god. Intruder? She's on the ceiling. Okay. That's a creepy one. Also, the flower vase is gone. But first things first, get rid of that. Get rid of that intruder. Uh... Also, object disappearance. Yeah, these two things just happen like right away. Yeah, the the vase is completely gone. Let's get it back. Oh. Um, that's another intruder right there. I'd say you're intruding. You weird abyss presence. Be gone from my sight, miscreant. What are they even doing? Why were you in here? You know, I was wondering why this painting wasn't lower on the wall. I guess it's to make room for the shadow portal on that wall, huh? All right, so I think I win again, and I think I got all the anomalies. I don't think I missed one, but maybe I did. Uh, I'm glad I did a second round though. That one was much more interesting than the first. All right, here it comes. One minute left. I don't think I missed any anomalies. I missed one. How? Where was it? Oh, well. All right, well, that was I'm on observation duty two. Uh, I think I liked the first one better, actually, but this one was good too. It's very, I mean, they're very cheap games, but they are fun to play like once or twice and then never touch again, I guess. Uh, I do kind of wish that there was more replayability, but again, these are like $2 games. There is an I'm on observation duty three, it said in the hints. So I guess I'll be checking that one out too. Or let me know if you, let me know if you'd be okay with that. I think you will. I mean, just judging from the response that the first video got. But yeah, I'm on Observation Duty 2. I don't think it really improved on much from the first game. It's kind of just another game that's almost exactly the same. Uh, I, I do think the aesthetic, at least for the Cursed House, is better. I do like seeing things in full color. I thought that the intruders in this one were a little wackier than the first, but I liked that about it. I, I do think that this game's biggest strength is probably the surprisingly scary shifts in tone that it has and I think it also its biggest weakness is the fact that there's just so many anomalies that are like it's a big ketchup bottle or uh, the chair is smaller now and I get that the idea is to make you pay attention but it's just kind of uninteresting and I think this could be a much more interesting game uh, with if they really leaned in on the wacky or the scary or both I think also if they did something to make it a bit more replayable besides just like see some new anomalies uh, I think that would be good too, but uh, you know, it's not my job to come up with these ideas. It's theirs So I'll, I'll leave the creativity up to them. Just some uh, Constructive criticism there, but let me know what you thought about I'm on observation duty to Timothy's revenge Who the hell is Timothy? I have no idea. I'm not sure I care so don't, you know, feel free to treat that question as rhetorical. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.